Hey Kickstarter, uh, like I promised I wanted to get you guys a update um, from the road. Um, I'm over in China and have spent the last three days um, essentially at the factory uh, fine-tuning uh, any kind of production issues uh, before ramping up to mass production. Um, so, you know, it's been an interesting trip uh, for those of you that haven't been to uh, China or uh, Hong Kong, uh, a little bit of a preview of some of the commute every day um, by boat, train, and uh, car, and uh, sometimes a lot of walking. And uh, so let's uh, let's. What I'm going to focus on is really the lunatic, um, uh, since it actually shares the same strap as the uh, uh, TikTok. Uh, the lunatic is actually uh, being CNC'd out of um, aluminum aircraft grade aluminum and as you can see here there's a bunch of steps that uh, you go through um, and I think it's five steps in total that you uh, kind of have to go through in order to come um, to the final shape of uh, lunatic here this uh, is a CNC machine that's been programmed with the uh, CAD files and as you can see it's it's cutting each um, four at a time um, and this is actually the final step within the uh, process. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, white liquid you see, see there is actually, um, it, it varies with steel, it would be more of an oil. And with the aluminum, it's a, a different slurry that actually uh, cuts down on the heat and friction and uh, keeps the aluminum and uh, tool from burning. And there are four of the final CNC parts that he's uh, taking off the tool right there. And you can see the five stages that the part goes through just in order to make the shape you have to come at it from different sides uh, then after the part CNC it's going to be pretty rough like you saw in the photograph so uh, they need to be polished um, and deburred and then uh, to get the fine honed finish uh, sandblasted finish that you see in the um, images and some of the uh, pre-production samples I've shown you need to sandblast off all the uh, and to get the kind of consistent texture. As you can see here, they have um, kind of a brushed and uh, has a lot of tool marks on it still from the CNC machine. But after you sandblast it, it comes to a kind of a fine, consistent uh, bead blasted texture. This is pretty amazing here. <laughs> lunatic tree, lunatic flower. So this was uh, one of the surprises, the anodization trees that they hang the parts on, and they're just absolutely uh, beautiful the way they uh, uh, kind of have these gradated colors from the multiple runs of different colors that they've uh, tried, not on TikTok or on Lunatic specifically, but on uh, various different types of products for different companies. So then we had a break for lunch. Uh, this is uh, one of our daily lunch commutes. Um, and we're also on the way to the other uh, factory where we uh, are making the straps. Uh, obviously, uh, Hong Kong and uh, surrounding areas in Shenzhen are big ports uh, for uh, bringing in and exporting uh, manufactured goods to all over the world. Uh, this looks like what our lunch is going to be. I think you, a lot of these places you go in, you have exactly. And this was like one of the hottest uh, meals I've ever had. I think I was hallucinating these spots. Then after uh, lunch, we had uh, some very nice tea. Uh, can't believe how much they pay for the tea. Lot. And then we were uh, looking at the uh, how the silicone is processed. Um, so we're using a real silicone band versus a TPU band uh, just because of the feel and silky feel which you everyone will experience once they get the uh, watches here in the next uh, few weeks.
uh, essentially they, it's a lot, a lot like making pasta. They just kind of roll it and it um, uh, basically goes through this uh, these two rollers. And then they slice it and um, essentially pull it off the rollers. And what they're going to do next is weigh it. Uh, because there's when they go to color these things, there has to be an exact proportion of color pigment to uh, the natural silicone. Something very uh, relaxing about watching this so, uh, Play-Doh pump factory. So then uh, they make what is a, a master batch. Um, essentially, it's uh, a control batch for the silicone. And they're very precise. They want to get all the color of pigment, obviously, right there. And uh, essentially, they make a little teeny batch of uh, black, which they're going to add to the bigger batch of silicone next. So I don't think that worked the way they expected it to right there. But. These guys do this day in and day out. So he's trying to pick up the party lost over on the left. This is a little long, but I thought it'd be very interesting for everybody to see. And they've added red in there because uh, black isn't necessarily just pure black. Uh, um, so there's a tiny bit of percentage of red in the black. So once the master batch um, is actually pretty consistent with black. They're going to uh, basically weigh it, and then they're going to come over here and add the, uh, they've already loaded the black in there again, and they're going to add the bigger um, amount of silicone here, and they slice it so that they can start doing the, uh, the process, uh, pasta processing from us. So they do that until the whole thing is pretty consistently black. So with the uh, pigment, they want to be pretty exact because the pigment is pretty uh, pretty dense. And if you're off by a little bit, obviously, uh, it's going to throw the color off from uh, batch to batch, production run to production run. And here he is adding, thinking about the red, uh, the amount of red that needs to be added to uh, the black as well. Once uh, they have the uh, silicone in the roll form, which is kind of a gooey, sticky consistency, um, these are then uh, chopped up into little sheets of perforated uh, silicone. For sticky, and then those are loaded into the tool, compression mold tool. So the silicon can either be compression molded or injection molded. Uh, we're using compression mold because it's uh, it can do uh, smaller runs of uh, uh, of color, and then essentially there those little pucks or those little slabs of silicone are loaded in there. And when it's uh, the tool is actually hot and the material is actually cold, and when it's compressed, it kind of just spreads around the tool 
and there's like a lot of uh, excess material around the fla uh, flash around the outside that needs to be trimmed off. Here he is popping them off. And then they're coated with a dust free coating um, after that and baked. And then you have the final uh, straps. And the samples are looking really good. And we're um, working on the packaging. And we should be uh, packing these up uh, later this month and hopefully get them to you soon. So that's uh, all I have from China. Um, looking forward to uh, seeing the project close this week. And um, we'll be contacting you guys with, for all the shipping information. And I uh, hope you have a great holiday. Um, OK. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs>